Hello there, good to see you again. Welcome back to another session on Java programming. So in this session, we'll be taking a look at uh, bitwise operators in Java. We'll take a look at bitwise or, bitwise and, bitwise XOR, bitwise complement, and also the use of left shift and right shift operations. Okay, let's go to the demonstrations now. This session is all about a demo on bitwise operators in Java. So we're going to take a look at the following bitwise uh, operators in Java. That is, we'll take a look at and, bitwise and, bitwise or, bitwise uh, XOR, bitwise complement. And uh, we'll also be taking a look at uh, left shift and right shift operators. Let's start with uh, bitwise and. So what is AND operation between two binary numbers? Say let's uh, take two numbers. One is number uh, 2. So we'll represent 2 in binary as 0, 0, 1, 0. And take, let's take another number that's uh, 3. So it's 0, 0, 1, 1. What's the result of AND operation between these two binary numbers? So the output will be a 1 only when both the inputs are a 1. So you're going to have 0, 0, 1, 0 to be the output. So binary AND operation between a 2 and a 3, the output is 2. So how is that we perform binary AND operation in Java? So let me declare uh, two variables. I'd say it's a byte. So we'll call this byte first number to be 2 and byte second number to be 3. Let's uh, see the output of a bitwise AND operation here. So, it's first number AND, it's an ambazen second number. So, that is the bitwise AND operation. So, what should be the output? We should get 2 to be the output. Let's uh, run this code so the output is 2 I hope you are able to follow the bitwise AND operation now let us take a look at bitwise OR so let's take two numbers again so it's uh, 2 in binary and 3 in binary what is the output of a bitwise OR here a bitwise R gives you 1 in the output whenever there is a 1 in the input. So here it is 0, 0, 1, 1. So if you're going to have a 1 in the input, then the output is going to be a 1. So that is bitwise R. So what will be the output here? If, if we perform the bitwise uh, R of 2 and 3, the output is 3. So now let's uh, take a look at the example here. Let's... Uh, perform a bitwise or so bitwise or this is the notation for bitwise or and uh, let's run this see the output is a 3 so you have got the result for bitwise or i hope you are able to follow bitwise and and or let's take a look at bitwise xor operation Again, let's go with these two binary numbers 0010 0, 0, that is for 2 and 0011 0, 0, 1, 1 for 3. So what is the output of a bitwise XR? See, whenever the input is a 1, it's going to give us the output as 1. But when both the inputs are a 1, the output will be a 0. So here it is 0, 0. Here both the inputs are a 1, so the output is a 0. But when one of the inputs is a 1, the output will be a 1. So bitwise XR between 2 and 3, the output should be a 1. Let's uh, delete this. Let's perform a bitwise XOR here. The notation for bitwise XOR is, this is the notation and uh, that's the symbol. First num XOR, second num, the output should be a one. So let's take a look at the output. So it's a one. So we have finished bitwise AND, OR and XOR. Now, let's take a look at a bitwise complement. So what is the use of bitwise complement? That is, it takes all the zeros 
and then it converts to a 1 and takes all the 1s and converts that to a 0. So I'll just give you an example here. For instance, uh, if you have uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, what will be the bitwise complement for this? 1, 1, 1, 0. So that's the bitwise complement. Now let's take a look at uh, the bitwise complement for a number that's 1. Let's uh, take a look at this. So it's an uh, unary operation. So you're not going to have two operands here. So it's going to be bitwise complement and of the first number. Let's take a look at the output here. The output is minus 2. So why is that we are getting a minus 2 here? Say when you talk about a byte, how many bits make a byte? It takes uh, 8 bits to make a byte. So it's uh, 8 bits. And when you say a 1, this is the 1 representation for a byte, right? This is number 1. And you find the bitwise complement for this, it, it's going to be 1, 1, 1. Wherever you have a 0, you convert that to a 1, 1, 1. And then wherever you have 1, you make that a 0. So this should be the output. So what is this? See, here this denotes a negative number. And uh, so what is that we are going to have here is it's minus 128 plus uh, 64 plus 32 uh, plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. So when you're going to find the uh, result of this minus 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 we are going to have it as minus 2 as the result. So this is why we are getting minus 2 in the output. So what is that we are getting here is a bitwise complement. A 0 is converted to a, to a 1 and a 1 is converted to a 0. I hope you are able to follow the output for a bitwise complement. Let's uh, delete these lines. Let's move on to left shift and right shift operators. So, so we will be having two inputs for a left shift operation. One is the number on which you are going to perform the left shift. So let's take this binary number 2. So it's a 0, 0, 1, 0. That is 2. And we should get the number of bits that we are going to left shift. So let's say 2 is the number of bits that we are going to left shift in this binary number. So what do you mean by left shifting by 2 bits? You are going to remove these two zeros on the left hand side first. So after you remove these two zeros, you will have a space, you will have only a 1, 0 left. Next, what you are going to do is, you are going to take this 1, 0 and then move it to the left hand side. So it's going to be, you are going to have 1, 0. In the remaining places, you are going to pad it with a 0. So what will be the output after left shifting by 2 bits? It will be 8. Got it. Can we take another example? Say for instance, if I have the number to be 1, how will you represent a binary number in 1? It's 0, 0, 0, 1. And if you left shift this by one bit, let's say you're going to left shift this by one bit. What it means? You have to remove the zero at the left hand side. So you're going to have what will be remaining? Zero, zero, one. After this, what is that you have to do? You should be pushing all these bits to the left hand side. So you're going to have zero, zero, one. And the remaining places you should have padded it with a zero. So when you left shift one by one bit, you're going to have the output as two. So with this, uh, let's uh, take up this example. So let's take this number 2 and left shift that by 2 bits. Let's see whether we're getting the output as 8. Let me delete all these lines. So let's take this number 2. And uh, what are the inputs? First number, that is the binary number which we are going to left shift. And this is the notation for left shifting and the number of bits you're going to left shift. So what will be the output here? it will be an 8. See, you got uh, the number 8 as the output. Say, if I'm going to take the number 1 and left shift it by 1 bit, it should be a 2. There is the output. I hope you are able to follow AND or XOR bitwise complement and left shift. Let's take a look at the final operation that is right shift. Right shift is the reverse of left shift. If you have understood left shift, it's just the reverse of that. So let's uh, take an example. Let's take 2 again and let's right shift 
this uh, binary number by 2 bits. What do you mean by right shifting by 2 bits? You remove the rightmost 2 bits. So what is remaining will be 0, 0 and space, space. Now what is that you do? You push the zeros to this uh, end. So you're going to have uh, what is what will, what will happen when you push it to the end? You'll have 0, 0 here. The remaining places you give a 0. So when you right shift 2 by 2 bits, the output will be a 0. Let's take another example. Say you have uh, uh, the number 2 and you right shift this by 1 bit. So what do you mean by right shifting by 1 bit? You remove this 0. So what is going to remain here is 0, 0, 1. And the next step is you're going to push all these things by 1 bit to the right. So you're going to have an output like 0, 0, 1. The remaining places you're going to have a 0. So what is right shifting 2 by 1 bit? The output will be a 1. And uh, we'll take 2 and then we'll right shift 2 by 2 bits. The output should be a 0. Let's run this code. See, it's a 0. What happens when we take 2 and then right shift that by 1 bit? The output should be a 1. So here's the output. I hope you were able to follow all the bitwise operations. Let's take a very uh, simple example of uh, left shift and right shift. For instance, uh, say an user, let me give a uh, program here, an user can take a number as input and then left shift it by say as many bits he wishes. And uh, we can call that to be, we can call that to be encrypted text or encrypted number. Say you take a number, you left shift by so many bits. So the number of bits will be the key. And then that end result will be the encrypted text. Likewise, we can take the encrypted text. and right shift by the same number of bits to get the plain text. As I've told you, encryption and decryption algorithms perform a lot of left shift and right shift operations along with all the bitwise operations. So I'm just giving you a small model of how encryption and decryption can be done using left shift and right shift operations. So here, let's uh, have a sysout statement. We'll ask the user, enter the plain text. Here we're going to get an, uh, here we're going to get the input as a number. So we'll have this uh, new scanner object, that is scanner obj is equal to system.in. and uh, we'll ask the user to enter a number which will get uh, the input in this integer called uh, plain text. We'll say it's obj dot next int. And we'll also ask the user to enter the, enter the number of bits for left shifting and uh, we'll get that as int key is equal to obj dot next int. So we have received the um, plain text and then the key. Now we'll throw the output that is nothing but the plain text left shifted by two, which is the encrypted text. So let's uh, see what is the encrypted text here. So the user should first enter the plain text, say enters two, and then he's going to left shift that by 2. The output is an 8. Now we'll ask the user to enter the encrypted text. So let's uh, go with a sysout statement. Enter the encrypted text. So 8 is the encrypted number here. So the user can enter it. 
and uh, let's get that int uh, encrypted text is equal to obj dot next int so we now know the key say both the parties have shared the key that is two is the key here so we can display the plain text like uh, encrypted text right shifted by two so that will be the plain text So let's run this again. Say the plain text entered by the user is two. He left shifts that by two bits. So he gets an encrypted text eight. Say eight is transmitted to the receiver and the receiver takes eight. And now he has the key that is two and he right shifts eight by two so that he gets the plain text two. So this is how two parties can transmit information by just using left shift and right shift operations. The key here is two. Again, this is not the safest way of transmitting <laughs> data. I'm just giving you an explanation of how bitwise operators can be useful. This is just a small model. Okay, as I told you, these things are used extensively in encryption and decryption. I have posted a lot of uh, video lectures on data encryption standard, advanced encryption standard, and things like that. If you go through these concepts, you'll understand how these bitwise operators are extensively used for these purposes. So with that, we are coming to an end of this session. I hope you were able to follow all the concepts on bitwise operators. If you have any queries, you can leave the uh, comments below. I'll be looking at it. And that's it for now. I hope you all enjoy this session. Take care.